briefly to live stream. That's brilliant. Okay, we're now streaming live on Facebook as well. So over to you, John. And thank Thanks, you. Beth. Thanks, Andrea. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all well and looking forward to today's meditation, which is all about connecting with the life flame and using its positive energy within. The meditation will run for about 40 minutes. So make sure you are sitting comfortably as I now invite you to close your eyes. Before we start, we're going to spend a few minutes opening up our energy centers, raising our consciousness before relaxing and allowing our body to totally let go. So in your mind's eye, visualize a beautiful rainbow crescent across the sky. Now take a deep breath in and visualize focusing and observing a four petal red lotus flower in an area around the base of your spine. See light glowing from it, then breathe out imagining any stress flowing out and away from you. Take another deep breath in. Visualize focusing and observing a six petal orange lotus flower around your navel. Now see light radiating from it. Breathe out, imagining any stress flowing out and away from you. Next, take another deep breath in and as you and visualize focusing and observing a 10 petal yellow lotus flower in an area between your navel and sternum. Now see light gleaming from it. Breathe out, imagining any stress flowing out and away from you. Take another deep breath in and visualize focusing and observing a 12 petal green lotus flower in your heart center. Now see light glowing from it. Now breathe out, imagining any stress flowing out and away from you. Take another deep breath in and visualize focusing and observing a 16 petal blue lotus flower in and around your throat area. Now see light radiating from it. Breathe out, imagining any stress flowing out and away from you. Next, take another deep breath in and visualize focusing and observing a two petal diamond like indigo lotus flower in the center of your forehead between your eyebrows. Now see light glowing from it. Breathe out, imagining any stress flowing out and away from you. And finally, take another deep breath in and visualize focusing and observing a 1000 petal purple lotus flower at the crown of your head. Now see light glowing from it. Breathe out, 
imagining any stress flowing out and away from you. As we cannot be together in person at the sanctuary today, we need to give thought to raising our vibrations and consciousness to a higher level so that we can create a good energy for our meditation today. So firstly, turn your attention inwards and visualize a space between your eyebrows, whilst at the same time, imagining using your eyes to see what is going on in the outside world. Now change your perception and imagine you are looking back in the opposite direction to within and becoming an observer of your mind, body and inner being. Watch and feel, becoming more aware of the essence of who you really are. Just breathe in and out at a comfortable pace and capacity and choose to allow your consciousness to go higher and higher and have a sense that you have joined your own consciousness with all other consciousness and that you have access to the universal mind and your spirit guides and helpers whilst also having the ability to tap into all creation. In this beautiful place of raised consciousness, become aware of a pure white light emanating from your heart center. Know that this is your light. Take comfort that it is that it is always connected to you and has the ability to see all that is. If you choose, as you have done today, you can encompass and call upon this beautiful white light whenever you feel the need to raise your energy levels and consciousness. Now take a few moments to quietly self-scan your body, relaxing muscles in turn in each region of your body. So start with your hips, legs and feet. Then move up to your belly and abdomen. Shift to your diaphragm and solar plexus. Now concentrate on relaxing muscles in your chest and back. Focus your attention to your throat, shoulders, arms and hands. Move upwards to your face and lower part of your head. And finally move on up to your forehead and scalp. Now imagine yourself being wrapped or surrounded by a golden cloak or shield of protection or by any other method that suits you. Imagine being completely enveloped in this protective light, which will act as a reflective device and bounce any negative energies away from you. Whilst at the same time, strengthening your aura, making you feel completely safe and protected and experiencing a deep peace within you. Now allow some time to concentrate on your breath. 
spend a few moments inhaling and exhaling at a comfortable pace and capacity and establish a quiet rhythm. Then visualize inhaling peace, vitality and healing energies through your nose. And on each subsequent exhalation, breathe out through your mouth, imagining that you are releasing any pain, sickness or worry. It's now time to turn your attention inwards. And in your mind's eye, visualize being in your own special, secure and safe place. This can be outside in nature, in a room, in fact, anywhere that suits you, as long as you can experience it as strongly as you can. Make sure you use all your senses to experience your own special and secure place. And remember, you can return here anytime you wish. In each of us, in all life, there is a flame encompassing the life flame, the love flame and the connective flame. In times of anxiety, stress, grief, sadness or distress, the flame can sometimes be hard to identify. However, in these instances, it is only like a fire that has been damped down for a while. When you open it up and bring in the air, it blazes away again. In our meditation today, we're going to work with this flame of life, which is there to serve you whenever you need to summon it. So just be relaxed and acknowledge the fire within so that you can charge your life with energy, help others and let go of anything that needs to be let go of. As humans, we are naturally attracted towards fire and flames with many of us having a fascination for it, perhaps because it is essential for our very existence. So firstly, conjure up a picture in your mind of seeing yourself sitting in a circle with friends, family and companions around a single flame. This scenario undeniably can awaken us all, perhaps with instincts of once being a cave dweller where survival needs were most definitely of utmost importance, as were interactions forming part of a group identity. During this period of time, it was flames that kept wild animals at bay. Flames in this area, in this era, were the only source of light heat and energy, and can perhaps be traced and linked back to our spiritual birthright from these bygone times, as they are considered by many to be a catalyst or agent for change and rebirth. In your mind's eye, you sense the power from the flame that maybe is not quite defined, but nevertheless seeming to almost reach out to you. And you sense the dynamic spirit drive, intensity and forcefulness just waiting to help you. For the time being, however, 
just receive and absorb the fire of wisdom's light. As you continue to gaze, now feel the flame evoking feelings of comradeship, friendship and security. Feel connected and being safe and secure with the circle linking you to a connective and collective energy. Of a feeling of being filled with golden, yellow, red and orange light, whilst at the same time feeling the warmth as relaxation revolves and whirls down and embraces your body. As you continue to feel connected, imagine yourself as one in your circle of friends and family and perhaps other fellow travelers. As you notice that each one of you is holding a small lit candle. Observe exactly who your companions are and why they may be with you. Also notice your surroundings. Perhaps you're in a cave, a church, a temple or sanctuary. Just keep meditating on the flame and light with its powerful flame reminding you of the spark of light within you and its power as you also experience a warm golden glow and peacefulness. Make sure you use all your senses to fully appreciate your environment. Possibly you feel a breeze on your skin as you also hear the wind blowing leaves from nearby trees. Or maybe the sound of gentle trickling water from a stream nearby. Or conceivably the smell of pine cones or incense of some kind. Or perhaps you use your sense of sight just staring at the flickering flames from the fire. From this place of stillness, now see yourself bringing forward movement, reaching out, expanding, breathing, stretching, flowing into a form we call life. Come drop a picture in your mind that this life emanates from a spark, from a flame or fire. Take time to acknowledge and know and sense that this spark is between yourself and others, between the past and the future, and between the known and the unknown. Continue to breathe in and out. Inhaling and exhaling in a calm and rhythmic manner. With each breath, encourage the light in the flame to grow until it encompasses your entire being. Then in your mind's eye, place the word love in letters of gold deep within the flame of light. Let the word love melt into the surrounding light so that you are surrounded by an aura of golden, yellow, red and orange light.
direct this light to your fellow companions in the circle and to all your family and friends. On your next inhalation, visualize a great flame of light entering your body through the center or crown of your head, which is, of course, your link with a divine source. Now allow this light to stream throughout your body, nurturing every cell and every fiber of your being with the golden, yellow, red, and orange flame of light. Visualize this light going in deeper and deeper into the earth then to the earth's core and hot molten center, even deeper below. Feel the heat from molten flames rising up through your feet, legs, pelvis, belly, and moving up further through your body, including your arms, hands, chest, neck, and back. The flame of life is, of course, very closely linked to your solar plexus energy center. So focus your thoughts and imagine that your body is now burning with radiating heat, light, strength and willpower. Feel this power pulsating through you from above and below, around and running through you, transforming all that is within and without. Now that you have sent your love and absorbed the light, Visualize that in the center of the circle is a large red, gold, yellow, and orange flame with these particular colors symbolizing divine and unlimited energy. Abundance, the sense of sight, also power, vitality, purification, light inspiration, joy, and ambitions. At the same time, also be aware that this flame incorporates the remaining rainbow colors, which will be able to complement and focus on any of your particular requirements that may be needed at this moment in time. Visualize that not only you, but each person in your circle can now bring something to the flame that he or she needs to let go of. Whether it be removing negativity by utilizing the flame to burn it away, or by releasing any anger, grief, sorrow, despair or pain. Each person, including yourself, can now place their little candle with those of the others closely around the center flame. Be courageous and let go, whatever you need to let go as you move forward. The beautiful flame in the center of the circle strengthens as all of the smaller candles are swallowed up and this huge flame of life is undoubtedly more perfect for what it has received. Just continue to be still and feel the outpouring of life 
love and connection. As you experience calmness, energy and warmth, Now imagine the flame becoming big enough to engulf and purify the whole of your body. In your mind's eye, sit within this flame for a while in silence and in peace. As you continue your meditation, you become aware of a change and that now, in place of the small offered candles, there is a circle of rosebuds. Each rosebud is a perfectly shaped candle holder. So take one, and also with it, a new white candle. Visualize dipping this candle into the large central flame, and as it lights, place it into your candle holder. Remember the rose is the symbol of love. Now return to your place alongside your companions in the circle. Now visualize a circle of lit candles, but this time the energy feels much different. Emphasize this energy as being inside as well as out. Feel your heart flame gently, but consciously burning. Again, notice your fellow companions. Remember, you are not alone. Also remember that your companions, as you, also hold part of the life flame, the love flame and the connective flame. This bright life flame is always there, steady and strong, and can receive any worries, troubles, negativity, loss, illness and transmute it and pass back to you any strength or steadiness that you may need at this moment in time. Now leave the circle with each of your fellow companions and return to your own place. Visualize keeping your own rosebud candle with you at all times. The love symbol holding the light and connective symbols. In your mind's eye, place it somewhere where you will often notice it. Just remember that if your flame ever goes down, all you will need to do is to imagine taking it to the large life flame and offer whatever you need to be swallowed up, to be dissipated and removed. Contemplate on your meditation journey today and further explore your discoveries and also accommodate new ideas and realities and let go of any perhaps deeply buried issues. Also reflect whatever issues or problems that arise in your life. There will always be a flame shining brightly in the darkness that cannot be overcome. Utilize this blazing desire from within, even when you think it is all that you have got, particularly as it is all that you will ever really need, as desire can undoubtedly take you anywhere.
I will leave you here to continue to contemplate on these matters. And I will call you back when it's time. Now, in your own time, gradually let these images slowly begin to fade, but not before spending a little more time thinking about the insights you have gained from your flame of life meditation today. So were you clear in your own mind? as to what energy your initial candle carried? Now resolve to perhaps obtain a rosebud candle holder with a white candle and place it in a prominent place in your home so that it will continually attract your attention, thereby allowing you to visualize and connect with your inner life flame whenever you need to. Remember that even in your darkest times, bring to mind and truly believe that a bright light is always there to shine and that with positive and powerful intention, energy and focus, on healing in a stillness and calmness, that this can undoubtedly be achieved. The light from the flames and the fire is very comforting, making you feel much more assured, contented and convinced as to the way forward in your life. Take some final moments from today's meditation to fully acknowledge the fire, spark and positive energy within, whilst thinking about how you are going to utilise this gift and connection to both helping yourself and others. to just visualize stepping into your own light and having a determination of keeping the inner fire ignited inside of you so that you can not only help yourself but also reach out and help others by shining your flame of light and healing on them. As you continue to drift back from today's meditation, give thought to the lovely spiritual work that you have participated in today. 
Before we finish, we just need to close down our energy centers. So firstly, turn your attention to your root chakra, located at the base of your spine. Imagine it as a four petal red lotus flower, folding its petals in and closing into a tight bud. Now turn your attention to your sacral chakra located by your navel. Imagine it as a six petal orange lotus flower, folding its petals in and closing into a tight bud. Next, turn your attention to your solar plexus chakra located between your navel and sternum. Imagine it as a 10 petal yellow lotus flower, folding its petals in and closing into a tight bud. Now turn your attention to your heart chakra. Imagine it as a 12 petal green lotus flower, folding its petals in and closing into a tight bud. Next, turn your attention to your throat chakra. Imagine this as a 16 petal blue lotus flower, folding its petals in and closing into a tight bud. Now turn your attention to your third eye chakra, located in your forehead, between your eyebrows. Imagine it as a two petal diamond like indigo lotus flower, folding its petals in and closing into a tight bud. And finally, turn your attention to your crown chakra. Imagine it as a 1000 petal purple lotus flower. Folding its petals in and closing into a tight bud. Now just relax and enjoy the reassuring sensation of groundedness, security, and stability. Now place a cloak or shield of protection around you, which completely envelops you protecting you from any negative energies. Now wiggle your toes and fingers as you feel an inner stillness and being calm, relaxed and refreshed. Have a gentle stretch before opening your eyes as you find yourself back safe and sound in your safe place. So thanks to everyone who has participated in today's meditation. Please stay safe, stay well, and be kind to yourself and others. John, that was so lovely. Thank you. Feel totally <laughs> relaxed. I'm just going to stop the live stream to Facebook.